Hello, welcome to the Adalink Digital IPEP setup guide with KVM Choice. The Adalink Digital IPEPS is a digital high performance KVM over IP solution. Here you can see us unboxing the product. Firstly, you can see the USB cable, followed by a DVI D single link cable. There's an audio cable, and that's your power cable to plug into your power supply plus your second USB cable for virtual media. Uh, and there's a firmware upgrade cable, serial, and here is the actual power supply itself. Then you can see us unpacking the actual digital IPEPS itself. As you can see, this is a palm-sized unit that enables computer access from anywhere in the world securely and remotely via the internet or corporate network. Having a look around the unit now, We'll be able to see the USB ports on the left and the DVI port on the right for your main PC that you are controlling. On the other side you have an RJ45 port to connect to your network, your firmware upgrade port, uh, your audio port and the power port. If you're using multiple digital IPEPs they can be rack mounted. Now we move to the setup portion of the video. Simply connect the power and connect your digital IPEPS to an IP network where you can use any computer on that network to set up your IPEPS. OK, now you can see the PC that we've connected to the local network and we're going to connect to the IPEPS using the default IP address 192.168.142 I'm now going to select download Windows VNC viewer from unit as the IPEPS comes loaded with VNC Viewer. I'm now running VNC Viewer and I'm going to put in my IP address of my IPEPS and I'm going to let the server choose my encryption level. OK, so now I'm connected to my digital IPEPS and in a moment you'll see that there is no signal because I've not connected any PC to my IPEPS so it is not receiving a video signal. Here I am logged in as the administrator so you can see the control options including mouse configuration and calibration as well as virtual media docking. You can also see that I can select either shared or private access. In the configuration screen you can see that there are multiple control options. We're going to set up our new user KVM Choice, and we're going to give them a password. We can edit their access rights using the edit tab on the right hand side of the screen. We're then going to save the configuration and return to the main screen. Now we've set up our IPEPS, we can go about connecting our digital PC. Here is our PC with a DVI port, HDMI port and USB ports. For our digital video setup, we will connect the DVI-D single link cable to the PC and the USB to one of the USB ports for our keyboard and mouse signal. We will then connect the other end to the IPEPS ensuring that we have connected the USB to the KM port on the left. The keyboard and mouse signals are sent using this one connection. The other USB port is marked VM for virtual media and requires a second USB cable to be connected. Almost done it's now time to connect the IPEPS to our network. OK, we are now connected to our PC on the network. The digital IPEPS is accessible through our network using the default IP address which we haven't changed. From this PC I can still load the VNC viewer from the digital IPEPS, however I could just as easily download and use VNC viewer directly from my desktop. When VNC Viewer loads, I will input my IP address and let the server choose my encryption level. I'm then going to log in using the user account that I created earlier. You can now see that within 5 minutes I have BIOS level control over my DVI digital PC over the network or anywhere in the world. Thank you for watching. 
please visit us at www.kvmchoice.com for more details.